Happy Holidays from the Mountain View City Council. Welcome everyone to our City of Mountain View annual community tree lighting celebration. As was mentioned, my name is Ellen Kamei. I have the honor and privilege of serving as your mayor this year. I want to thank you all for joining us as we ring in this holiday season. We've had a very busy year. And I'm so excited to be back in person with all of you to celebrate. Some of my favorite holiday memories in Mountain View have been right here at our tree lighting with our old tree but now we have a new healthy tree that we get to celebrate with um so and we have a very special guest of honor santa claus who will be arriving shortly to help flip the switch for our tree lighting and this is our new coast live oak tree i'd also like to give a special thanks to the city of mountain view forestry and roadway landscape division our recreation division performing arts division Facilities Division, Library, Police Department, and Fire Department. As John mentioned, it was everyone. It's quite a long list. And they've worked collectively to bring back special events to our wonderful city. Thank you for your creativity and hard work. Now, please join me in welcoming our first performance, our Mountain View High School Madrigals, under the direction of Jill Denny. Take it away. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, oh, my dear. but the fire is so delightful. delightful. And since we know place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show signs of stopping, no, no, no. and I brought some cold for popping. It's popping. The lights are turned way down the lights low. Are down low. It's a winter festival song. Circle round. 
am so happy to be here singing in person. And I know I speak on behalf of all of us who, after so much isolation, having the opportunity to come back and sing as an, an ensemble and to gather as a community is truly a blessing, not, a not just of the holiday season, but in general, period, end of That's story, glory. Okay, so we are so happy to be here for you tonight. And we would like to sing now for you, Oh Christmas Tree. two more carols and we'll move on to the next group so we're super happy again to be here joy to the world Bless you and send you a happy new year. May God 
God send you a happy new year, happy new year. Love and joy come to you, and a merry Christmas too. May God bless you and send you a happy new year. May God send you a happy new year. for starting the evening with holiday cheer. Let's give them another round of applause. At this time, I would like to introduce my colleagues on the City Council who are here with me tonight. Please join me on stage. Vice Mayor Lucas Ramirez. Council Member Margaret Ave Koga. Council Member Allison Hicks. Council Member Lisa Matichek and Council Member Pat Showalter. And unable to join us tonight is Council Member Sally Lieber. Oh, she is? Oh, Sally, yay! Perfect! <laughs> it's hard to notice us sometimes with all of our gear and our masks. Um, finally, I'd like to introduce our two MCs for tonight's event, Robert Honda from NBC Bay Area. <laughs> And Emily Chan, Chair of the City of Mountain View's Youth Advisory Committee, also known as YAC. <laughs> Thank you both, Emily and Robert, for uh, hosting tonight's event. What are you most excited about this holiday season? Well, first of all, returning to Mountain View, <laughs> where my uh, father and my grandmother lived here for many years. And um, also, I had the honor to MC two years ago when the uh, original tree that had been here for decades passed away. And uh, I was able to be the MC for the inaugural event for the new tree. So I kind of feel like a proud parent. I want to come back and see how the tree's doing. So that is uh, what I was really looking forward to as part of this event. And also, to echo some sentiments that were expressed before, Thank you all for being here. It is great to be at an event where people are not on computer screens and that you're all live and in person. It is great. Thank you for uh, joining us and being a part of this community celebration. Great. Emily, how about you? What are you most excited for this holiday season? Well, I'm super excited to be here at this event. You know, it's such a great opportunity. I think it's going to be a great night. It's so nice to see like everybody's faces out there. I think. I'm a senior in high school right now, so this is my last kind of Christmas at home. Um, and so I'm looking forward to all our family traditions, spending time um, with my loved ones. And, you know, I think I'm obviously going to be really relieved when uh, I turn in all my college applications. Um, that's what I'm excited for, for sure. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you both again for taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us tonight. We really appreciate it. So, do you guys hear anything? Does anyone hear anything? I don't know. Do you hear? I'm hoping that if we're quiet enough, maybe we'll hear Santa's sleigh? A spotlight. Here we go. Spotlight always. All right, it worked. We were quiet enough. I think it might be Santa. Santa, are you here? Is that you? Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus so Lane. There's a clue. I know. His reindeer's pulling on the rain. Oh, 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 oh,
city of Mountain View. You citizens are so lucky to live in Mountain View. You really, really are. I want to thank all of you for coming today. Thank you. So what's going on? Well, I have I have a couple questions for you because hey. as we've been talking about, it's been a little while since we've seen you. So some of our littlest residents in Mountain View wanted me to ask you, Okay. how do you visit all the houses in one night? How? Easy. Yeah? I just do. <laughs> Isn't that right? I just do. I have to. You don't hear me with these bells because everybody's sleeping. And if you did hear me, then I can't come to your house yet. So make sure you go to bed early, but do me a favor. Does anybody know what kind of cookie Santa likes? Chocolate chip. Yes. Chocolate chip. Yes. But nothing for Rudolph. He's getting too fat. <laughs> what other question? Well, well, but how do you eat all the cookies and milk? Don't the reindeer have to help you? No. No? <laughs> Not at all. I can do pretty good. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay, but tell us about all of the presents. How do you fit all of the presents in your sleigh? It's all because it's magical, oh. and you have to believe they fit all in the bag into the sleigh, it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. But you have to believe, you truly do. Yes. OK, and so tell us, should we leave carrots for the reindeer? Well. I'm sure they like other vegetables too, right? Carrots is their favorite. OK. Because you know what? Have you ever seen a reindeer wear glasses? <laughs> no. no. OK, so they must be good for them. <laughs> Isn't that right, folks? Isn't that right? Okay. Okay. So the really important question is, is there anything you'd like to say to all of the children that are with us here tonight? Love each other. Love your family. Love your friends. And we can be so much together. Really simple to believe. Just believe it and love each other. That's all Santa wants. That's all Santa wants. Thank you, Santa, for all that advice. Let's give Santa a round of applause. We're Thank so you. lucky that he made it to the city of Mountain View. And I think, Santa, now that you're here, we're ready Let's to do it. light up, like my headband, the evening. Are you ready to I'm, light up the night with a little ready. holiday cheer? Yes, I am. All right. Can I have a countdown? Yes, we're going to move. Yeah. All right, we're going to move this way. 
And I think. Why don't you stand over there? Okay, Santa's telling me what to do. I'd rather have me fall off. Oh, thank you. I can fly. <laughs> I can fly. <laughs> thank you, Santa. All right, should Mr. we do Honda, a countdown? Yes. Everybody, Everyone, can you everybody. help us do the countdown? Okay, ready? Five, four, four three, three, two, one. one. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, what it's, a good job. It's grown in a couple did. of years. You Look at that. A wonderful job, yeah. Oh, but it looks good, though. It looks good. <laughs> snowing. Oh, and is it snowing? Oh. Thank you, Santa. Oh, my wow. pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Santa, thank you for coming to visit Mountain View and for helping us to turn the lights on. It's time for you to head over to the plaza, which yes, I believe I is right over here. Yes, I am. Uh, pavilion for pictures with our little and big Mountain View residents. Thanks so much for bringing all the holiday cheers, Thank Santa. Thank you to you all. Thank Happy you holidays. All Let's Thank give Santa a round of applause. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you Very Santa. Nice Very nice you. Very nice for you. You've been, a, you've been a good girl. Keep up the good work. So have you. You've been a real good girl. So keep up the good work. Sure. Sure. I see you. We're here with Tom Meyer as the executive director of the uh, Community Services Agency. And just so that everybody knows, I serve on the board, but Tom has promised to be honest and forthright. And Tom, why don't we go ahead and take off our masks? Uh, we're, we've both been vaccinated and we're all good to be here. Vaccinated and boosted. Yes. Yeah, so, so Tom, one, first, Welcome to the tree lighting at the Mountain View uh, you know, City Center. Well, thank you, Mike. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a lovely tree. It's not as big as in previous years, but it certainly is nice looking. And the Civic Center Plaza looks lovely tonight. I know it's, it's always a great event. And you know, we've, it's been a year since we got to do this because of COVID and we're still living with it. But, and it, you know, what's going on with COVID and the Community Services Agency? Well, as you might think, and as most people know, COVID really had a huge impact on us in a very big way. Uh, the number of people that we saw just exponentially grew. Uh, we ended up uh, 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 seeing, you know, 1,500 new families coming to us for services. Uh, new families, that's on top of those that were already coming to us for services. Uh, we had huge numbers of people that were affected by the eviction moratorium and the ending of that. Uh, we got huge amounts of rent relief into the community, but even with all those millions of dollars in rent relief going into the community, it still wasn't enough. So many people were really suffering. So we're now we're unfortunately seeing an increase in the number of homeless people, but we're stepping up and the community is stepping up in a big way. I have to say the community is stepping up in a very big way. And and, and we are able to get more and more in, uh, aid out to families that need it. Uh, and uh, uh, as example is our holiday sharing program. We're not doing toys this year. Our families told us over and over again that those gift cards that we give out are so much more valuable to them. So we're going all gift cards all the time uh, and the way that that can really help empower a family. And we have actually, it's December 6th right now, we've already given out gift cards to more than 2,000 kids. You know, I, and I can, I can remember being a volunteer for the holiday gift giving and everything like that. And everybody loved doing that. But for the recipients, right. it sounds like, you know, the gift cards are way, way more important. And I will tell you, if you come down and volunteer for us to give out gift cards, we'll still make it festive for you. You'll still have a wonderful time and you'll still get to interact with our clients, which is really important. But it, it, there just won't be toys involved. Can I dress like this? You can dress any way you want, Mike Casper Zach. <laughs> so thanks, Tom. So, so is there? I mean, if if you had a wish from CSA this holiday season for the community, what would your wish be? Remember that there are a lot of people out there suffering right now, but we're doing our best, and this community, more than a lot of other communities, does its best, and we should all be very, very proud of that. But just remember those that that are in need right now. And that community includes Mountain View and Los Altos, right? That's true. We serve Mountain View, we serve Los Altos, and we serve many people from neighboring communities as well. That's yeah. great. 
Tom, thanks so much for being here. Happy holidays and best wishes. Thanks, Mike, and same to you, and same to you, everyone out there. And we're off. Oh, great. Look at all these amazing faces. Isn't this exciting? We're actually singing in person. Who would have thought? This is our first performance in two years in person, ladies and gentlemen. These girls are so excited to be here. This is such a wonderful thing. Thank you for having us. Like they said, we are I Sing Silicon Valley. We are a girls choir located in Palo Alto. This is 95 of 300 girls from first grade through 12th grade that are a part of our choir. We're gonna continue on with a beautiful piece by Mozart.
so much. Just one more song, this one about joy, love, and peace. If you are interested in I Sing, if you have a daughter who loves to sing, would like to join us at Palo Alto, there's a sparkly mom over here with a necklace just like mine. She has all this info for you if you'd like to get info about us. Thank you so much for having us tonight. Happy holiday. Holidays. My name is Ellen Kamei, and it's been my honor and privilege to serve as the mayor of Mountain View. Now, you may not have seen me because I've been your Zoom mayor mostly due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but it's been a wonderful 2021. And I really want to thank each and every one of you for sticking in with us. I know it's been a roller coaster of a year with the different variants that have come forward, but I think that's where our mantra of hashtag together Mountain View really comes into play. We've banded together every department, every community member, every organization to try to make sure that we see the hope that's in view. So as we look towards 2022, I hope that we'll have the same fortitude and resiliency we've seen throughout our community in 2021. And I hope this holiday season, thanks to our boosters, that you'll be able to be close with your friends and family. I wish you the best. Happy holidays. Hello, I'm Vice Mayor Lucas Ramirez, and I want to wish you a happy holiday. I'm 
here with Laurel Iverson from the Mountain View Los Altos Community Foundation. And Laurel, it's great to have you here at the tree lighting here in Mountain View. I'm thrilled to be here representing the foundation. Um, the foundation's always been a big, the Mountain View has always been a big part of the foundation, one of the three communities we serve, but now it's officially in our name and um, we couldn't be more pleased and proud to be part of the, a bigger part of the community. So is this your first tree lighting in Mountain View, honestly? I'm embarrassed to say yes, after 20 years in the area, yes. But that's okay. You're here now, and the foundation is here now. And the foundation is here now. The foundation actually has had a, a, a large presence in Mountain View from a grant-making perspective for the last 20 plus years. So what sort of things has the foundation been doing in Mountain View over the years? Over the years, we've supported many nonprofits, some small, um, some large, Community Services Agency, for example, as a large one. And we also um, sponsor or um, incubate new nonprofits, such as Soil and Water, which is based in Mountain View, a community garden that involves their local neighborhood and serves seniors and does programs with school kids and teaches children about gardening and the importance of healthy eating and just builds community. Um, just as one small example. So incubating new startup nonprofits profits and also um, if I can go on forever here partnering. well let me let me stop you there because I know that the foundation was pretty involved in some of the COVID relief activities in Mountain View especially last year right absolutely absolutely uh, the foundation partnered with the city of Mountain View and many other local agencies um, to raise gosh, well over a million dollars in COVID relief funds for small businesses, for rent relief for residents who were in danger of losing their housing, and um, also to support many nonprofits who were really hit hard by the pandemic. That's really fantastic. It's really great that the foundation has actually made Mountain View an official part of their service area. And I just want to thank you for joining us this evening. And I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy holiday season. Well, thank you, Mike, and thanks for having me on, on your show, and happy holidays to you, too. It's been a pleasure to be here. Thanks, Laurel, and now we'll go back to the show.
the, the game I'm on auto. George, ring up the game? Alright, I'll go with the throw. Ring up the game. Council Member Allison Hicks, I'd like to wish you all a happy and especially a healthy new year. I know this last year has been difficult for a lot of us, so I'd like to focus on one of the bright spots. I was so glad that you all supported our new downtown living room, the Castro Pedestrian Mall, and I would love to see you all over the next year as it continues and evolves and thrives. Again, happy new year. I'm here now with Peter Katz, the CEO of the Mountain View Chamber of Commerce. And uh, Peter, it's, it's great to have you here at the tree lighting. And I remember it's two years ago, you had just been hired and we met at the Chamber's uh, holiday event. So true, and you were wearing the same outfit. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell people that, so. <laughs> but it's such a great outfit, it's worth repeating. <laughs> well, you know, you, you can only wear this once a year, so. Fair enough. So, I mean, what's the chamber been doing during the pandemic? I mean, you came in an entirely different set of circumstances, and who knew what the next two years was going was gonna to provide? Uh, so true. It's just been a wild, wild ride. And I think that uh, one of the things that the chamber has been focused on is how do we keep our businesses afloat? Um, so much of the early pandemic was just survival. And in the last, uh, you know, number of months and all, it's been, okay, we've been through uh, you know, survival mode. Now, how do we get to kind of the other side? And how do we build programs so that we can do more and kind of lead out of the pandemic? So I think in the last year, what you've seen are things where we've tried to 
blend both the uh, in-person as well as the online activities so that businesses can really invite people back in. We've had people eating the in outside, but we've also invited them inside. We've had the Taste of Mountain View, for example, where we've invited people inside and at the doorsteps and so on, so we can actually get traffic back again, so we can actually get customers back again. And uh, we, of course, support these lovely activities that we have over the holidays and encourage everybody to shop local. Yeah, and, and that's so important. And is the Chamber doing anything with the local businesses in Mountain View about shopping local? Absolutely. Um, so not only are we doing a lot of advertising and a lot of promotions that talk about, you know, shop local and remember our businesses aren't out of the woods yet, please do it. And what we found is a lot of the customers are dying to do it. And so if they go to the Mountain View Marketplace, which is I love MV slash shop, um, they can uh, see a list of about 150 different local businesses. And we've been encouraging our businesses to put sales up there and ideas up there so they can get seen where they wouldn't normally be seen. So instead of going to www.someothername.com, they can go and get to Mountain View businesses right. and Mountain View shopping. And, and sh this was a, a Mountain View Chamber initiative, wasn't it? It was actually a combination. It was a, um, started with the city. Um, actually, it was one of their initiatives in terms of how to help small businesses. And the chamber basically said, how can we help? And they said, well, we can't really put this together. Can you? We said, absolutely. And so we kind of took it forward from there. Well, that's really great. Now, what kind of feedback are you getting back from the businesses about how things are going this time of year? Yeah, so what the businesses are saying is that it's still tough out there. Anything that we can do to help support bringing people back is, is welcome. Um, that said, I think the businesses really have appreciated the work we've done, the work the city has done. They've actually seen a lot of activity. And it's just so nice, like tonight, for example, to see people out on the street again, see people smiling again, to see at least half their faces again. <laughs> I know, it's the half the faces that's really problematic. Yeah, but we've tried to be doing more and more things outdoors, and therefore I think people are much more comfortable with seeing each other and doing things and so on. You and I can actually have a conversation unmasked. Of course, we are both vaxxed. And boosted. And boosted. Great. Well, Peter, it's been great having you here. I, you're, you're dressed a little better than I am in terms of warmth. Um, it's great having Peter Katz here, and uh, we do want to encourage everybody to shop local, shop the businesses downtown Mountain View and all throughout the city. And now we'll get back to the show. They're behind me. Oh, you want the ones like in a far away from me? 
Good one. Look at it,
I'm here with Ina Bayer at the Bayer Ballet, and I just want to wish you both a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And we also have the uh, Snow Queen with us. Correct? Yes. And what's your name? Juliet. Juliet? Yes. Nice. nice to meet you. And Ina, tell me a little bit about the Bayer Ballet and all the people that are watching. Um, Bayer Ballet, we, I opened the school in uh, 2005. Wow. But we moved to Mountain View in 2007. From 2007, wow. Mountain View is our hometown. And uh, we grow in a um, school here. It's a private school. We teaching kids classical ballet. Uh -huh. Our um, uh, scope of our intent is a classical ballet, Vaganova, Russian Vaganova system. We, ha we have kids range fr aged from three years old to 18, but she's 16, yeah? She's I'm, just how old are you? 16. 16, that's great. And so, and so how many, how many uh, kids do you have going through a year? Um, approximately 400 kids uh, enrolled wow. in program, yeah. And boys and girls? Boys, not as many as the girls, but we are very welcome to the boys. So why should more boys get involved in ballet? I'm going to ask you. <laughs> um, I think ballet is just such a uh, like well-rounded art. You learn, you learn so much. Of course, you learn the technique, but you also learn the responsibility, the time management, the um, expression, um, all of that. And I think. Um, yeah, I mean, we love having the boys dancing with us, and it um, gives us the opportunity to dance so much more repertoire because we're able to, you know, just expand um, over what we've done so far. It's really great. And have you guys been performing this evening for the tree lighting ceremony? Yes, we do. We make small compilation from our show. Our show lands two hours, and here we have like seven minutes, and we make compilation to demonstrate main characters. Well, that's just like this, you know, normally a news broadcast is about a half an hour and we get about three minutes, so. Yes. So, um, you know, for the future, what are you really looking forward to in the next year with respect to the Bayer Ballet? Actually, I'm, uh, I'm looking that more people know about us, about our beautiful method, about uh, that school raising kids from three years old to 18 and they are going to dance in professional companies and then going to study in best colleges and universities around the world. Uh, depend what they wish. And I want that people know about this and the talented and dedicated kids come to our program, especially boys. We have a very good um, um, uh, male instructor, instructors at school, and I wish, of course, peace, health, happiness to all our students and all entire world. Actually, I want us to be happy, healthy, and. Well, that's such a great sentiment for this time of year. Yeah. And if you were going to say one thing, you know, as a student at the Bayer Ballet, you know, and encouraging others to get involved, what would that be? I think it would be um, just to take the chance and try something. Even I know some people, um, maybe they they haven't done ballet since they were young. They don't want to get started. But honestly, with the teachers that we have and the community that we have, I think you can come in at any age, really, and just really integrate with the with the group of students and teachers. And the chances that we get to perform, we get to go on stage many times a year. We get to have so many opportunities like this, and then on bigger stages and everything. Um, and I think that opportunity is just invaluable and that any, any, everyone should take the chance to kind of try it out for themselves. Well, thank you both so much for joining us this evening. Happy holidays. And, you know, we saw you pose like in your picture back there and you, you did it spectacularly. So thank you very much and best of luck in the new year. And thank you for joining us this evening. And now back to the tree lighting ceremonies.
good. How many more do we have left? How many more uh, groups? Yeah, after. Hello, Mountain View. I'm Pat Showalter, and it's my honor and privilege to serve on the Mountain View City Council. Thank you so much for all you do to keep our city going well. If you have any issues, please feel free to contact me through the city email, pat.showalter at mountainview.gov, and have a wonderful holiday season filled with health, friendship, and family fun. Take care. But, uh, we're here this evening with Jesse Cup, who's a member of the Mountain View Visual Arts Committee and a former chairman. And uh, welcome, Jesse. Happy holidays. Thank you, Mike. How are you doing? I'm doing great. And yourself? I'm good. I'm good. I came here. Um, I didn't even know. I forgot the tree lighting was tonight. I came down. I was here, and then my brother texted me and said, "Hey, tree lighting at 5:30." I'm like, "Yeah, it's me." So, so what's going on with Visual Arts Committee these days? So, right now, the Visual Arts Committee, um, we have just gotten something passed by the uh, Council Procedural Committee, and it's an update to the K-5 policy. Um, that basically means and we're going to be getting 2% instead of 1%. You're getting a little wonky, Jesse. Sorry. Let's, let's just go for the, let's go for the gusto. Okay. We're, there's going to be more money in parks uh, for the arts going forward. Arts and, and public buildings. So that's that's what that's what the committee is involved with um, right now. But I'm working on a separate project that's that's outside the visual arts committee. The mural. Yeah, yeah. It's All right. What I call a public health mural project. So we're trying to trying to use the power of arts to reduce vaccine hesitancy, um, especially in more vulnerable communities. So we've got. Um, Two murals that are going to be going up, one at St. Athanasius Church, um, which has a large uh, Hispanic right. population, number of attendees, um, also the church where my brother goes, and then the other one is CSA, um, who has, you know, they do. The Community Services Agency. Yes, yes, and they're out there helping uh, low-income people and homeless people with food, services, rents, and all kinds of other things. So what's the purpose of the murals? The purpose of the murals is, is just to um, showcase basically the importance of getting vaccination. Just display it in a positive light, say, you know, this is not a scary thing, this, this is something we all need to come together as a community to do, uh, to protect each other. So we're, we, what I want to get away from is kind of um, 
Like a lot of times you see signs or you hear like mandates, right, from the government. Right, right. People don't respond well to that, I think. I think instead you can you can have that, but you can also have a gentler approach as well on the side that just shows like, you know, here's our here's our church members happily together. They're able to they're able inspire to, people. Yeah, inspire people. Say, look, you, you can remove your masks now and you can be together because we're we're vaccinated. So gotta wrap this up, but given the holidays and the spirit, what's your wish for the murals? My wish for the murals is that um, we get enough funding to paint them. So we're gonna try to pay these artists um, and the chamber has agreed to be, to help us fundraise. Um, so next year we're gonna be doing that and trying to raise the money for the murals. So we've got, we've got everything else lined up, but the last step is the money. So you'll hear from me in the future. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks so much, Jesse. Have a great holiday. All right, you too, Mr. Casper. All you. right, you can call me Mike. Thank you. you too, Mike. Happy holidays. All right. <laughs>
No, this is no, this is This is both curtains. Happy holidays, everybody, from Crittenden Middle School. <laughs> Thank you for listening. This was our musical theater and um, Panther Chorus. And uh, this is the combined group. And we are going to sing around wishing you all a happy holiday. By the way, I want to acknowledge our amazing accompanist, Larry Chin. Hi, I'm City Council Member Sally Lieber. I want to wish everyone in our community a very happy holidays and a great year ahead. I know it's been a difficult time, but we're getting through it together. And anything that you can do to provide a little bit of assistance or even just cheer and emotional support to others in our community is so much appreciated. So again, I'm wishing you a happy and healthy holiday season and year ahead.
Really flies and 
song, uh, we just wanted to ask how many folks out there sing at any point? So if you're a guy and can sing in tune with a pleasant sound, you can do what we do up here. So if you are interested in this style of music, um, we meet at Thursday nights at the Sunnyvale Elks Lodge and love to see new faces, new guests. If you have any interest, please come on down and see one of us after the show. Um, and now for our last song. I'm here with Ida Rose Sylvester, and happy holidays. Happy holidays, Mike. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about tonight, about what you've been doing over the last year for local restaurants and those less advantaged in Mountain View. Can you talk to us about that? Well, about 18 months ago, I founded an organization called Appetite for Good. Um, one of the first things I noticed at the beginning of the pandemic was all of the restaurants starting to shut down, some of them instantly um, and permanently. Uh, definitely very worried about the cultural heritage, the tax base, uh, these institutions that we count on so much in Mountain View. But at the same time, I also saw the lines for food assistance growing at CSA, growing at local churches. And I thought, hmm, well, we have restaurants who have access to food and cooking, um, you know, no problem with their supply chain and can still get food. And then we have people who are hungry. Why don't we marry those two things together? So, I mean, you pulled together an organization. I think you also worked with the Los Altos Mountain View Community Foundation to yes. put this thing together. Describe the program, you know, briefly. Uh, well, we've had a couple of iterations of it, but the, the very simple thing is that we pay restaurants to provide gift certificates for, for meals, regular meals off their menu to those in need. So families get a delicious, healthy meal. Uh, but they also get an experience. They get the dignity um, and a chance to get away from everything and have a delicious meal in a restaurant. And the restaurant wins, the people who are hungry win, we all win. But 
you've engaged the public in this too, haven't you? I mean, indeed. Um, in at least the early part of Appetite for Good, we would have individuals in the community buy gift certificates uh, for the restaurants of their choice. We would give them a choice of say six or 10 different restaurants and people would pay for the ones that they liked the most, sort of supporting those that they cared about the most. Mm -hmm. um, but right now we have a little bit of a different model going on where we've had people apply for funding from a fund that we have started. That's fantastic. And where's, where's the funding for that come from? Uh, many local donors who must remain anonymous. Well, okay, so, thank but... You, thank you, community. You're all responsible for this fund, which is going to be delivering, uh, it's already started to deliver 6,200 gift certificates just in time for the holidays. So that was going to be my next question. What kind of impact has have you had? Uh, well, to date, we've uh, provided almost 10,000 gift certificates for meals to local restaurants, uh, probably serving about 50 different restaurants, and lit, so thousands and thousands of people have been able to get a meal because of this. We've had restaurants say that this has helped keep them alive. It's helped them keep staff. Uh, some people have actually been able to pay staff to help put the gift certificates together and keep the program going. So we have seen a dramatic direct impact on businesses. Well, that's really fantastic. And it really just shows what a community can do when it comes together to help all of those in need. And Ida Rose, it's been great having you here with us. If you had one last wish, you know, for the holidays, what would that be? That we don't forget the humanity that the pandemic has brought us. So if, I guess, I'm sorry, when we get through this, we will always remember to look out for our small businesses and look out for our, our families in need that are always there no matter what is going on with the pandemic or not. Great, thanks so much for joining us. And now let's get back to the show.
very much. We are the a portion of the Bay Area Showcase Chorus. We've been around for a long time in this area, and we love entertaining uh, for audiences of all ages and of all kinds in all kinds of places. But this is our first outdoor performance. Um, we had one in October for a small crowd in a park, and this is our first big event. So thank you for being here. So special to perform for real live people and to perform in person. Um, we are a, a barbershop, women's barbershop chorus. We meet on Thursday night. If any of you are interested in finding out more about us, please come and see one of us, me or anybody else, um, that you see up here on, the, on this stage, and we'll tell you all about it. Um, we're going to do another song now um, with a little choreography. We dance when we sing. This is so weird. This is like we're gonna do jingle bells choreograph. How, how many people are left? How many? How many people are left? Okay, that's what I thought. Thank you so much for being here and for, for your attention tonight. We'd like to sing, uh, end with a song that we'd like you to sing with us. It's a medley of It Came Upon a Midnight Clear and Silent Night. And I think a lot of you know these two songs. So sing along with us if you like.
Hi, I'm Lisa Matichak. It's certainly been a challenging, unusual few years for us, and I hope that as we come out of the pandemic, you'll have the opportunity to get together with your friends and family for the holiday season and really enjoy yourselves. Happy holidays. I'm here with Mountain View Mayor Ellen Kamei, and welcome, and it's great to have you here at the uh, tree lighting. Thank you so much. It's been, you know, quite a bit of, what, 21 months in this pandemic. So it's lovely to have our holiday tree lighting back and welcome our residents safely and still be able to celebrate and get into the holiday spirit. Did we do a virtual tree lighting last year? We did a virtual greeting um, outdoors with our council, but I think that was it. And so it's so nice to be able to kind of reprogram um, the holiday tree lighting. And so you get to meet Santa outdoors. There's actually a train. We've closed down portions of Castro Street. And so I think it might be here to stay, this new format. I think it's great. And I mean, I think I may have watched the virtual tree lighting. You know, it's just not the same. No, it isn't. I mean, part of the what makes Mountain View so great is we we have Santa come and help us light up our holiday tree. And so today we had Santa who brought some creative snow um, for us to be able to have. And so uh, I think it's really something people look forward to every year to just kind of gather and celebrate. So it was really nice to be back in person. The snow wasn't your holiday wish, was it? <laughs> Well, I mean, partly, I mean, being back in person is my holiday wish and kind of returning to in-person events and being able to see the community. You know, this year as mayor, I haven't had a lot of opportunities to see people in person. And so being able to do this felt extra special as a, I close out my term. It's, it's really hard, you know, to, to be mayor and not to be able to get out there and be with the residents. Having, having been a mayor, I know how exciting that is, and I can't imagine what it's been like during the pandemic. Yeah, I mean, we've had to replace everything kind of to virtual screens, um, you know, but I think what's been really heartening is how our communities come together. And so, um, and staff's gotten really creative. We did the summer pop-up series where we were in different um, parks throughout our community. We brought back outdoor movie night, and then um, we did like a movie throwback night, which I thought was cool. Monster Bash came back, and now the, the holiday tree lighting. So I think we've, we've gotten creative, and in that way, it's been nice to see and residents and you know hopefully soon we will be away from the the zoom screens and and be back yeah. right and, and what's the best part about the tree lighting gosh um i think i love all of the holiday music <laughs> i i really enjoy it i think it gets us into the spirit and what's exciting too is you know a couple years ago our tree was unhealthy and we unfortunately it, it tree passed away and we have a new tree now yep. um, yes and um, it's grown in the you know during the pandemic so it's nice to have a buller, bigger fuller tree to light so <laughs> that's what I enjoy well you know in California we have to be you know you know environmentally conscious and evergreens aren't real endemic here but oak trees and a California live oak yep. yes yeah they are so yes now we have a native tree that will hopefully thrive um, and be be healthy, but um, I think we, you know, people have enjoyed the tree. So, and uh, we've created that little outdoor space where we have the the turf and the different games that you can play here at the city plaza, and people seem to like that too. Yeah, it's great to see the plaza get so active. Yes. So, as we close out, what's your wish for Mountain View? Your Christmas wish for Mountain View? As we close out. Uh, well, my holiday wish for Mountain View is that they can be back in person with their loved ones, their friends, their family. I know it's been so difficult for us to be separated and apart. And so this holiday season, I hope that they get real hugs and real smiles in person. Um, and just want to thank our community for being so resilient. Ellen, thank you so much for being here. Congratulations. I know, I know you've got a big Christmas gift on the way. So we'll uh, see you in the new year. And thank you for being here. And now we'll go back to the show.
Can everyone hear me now? Woo, let's start this thing right. Dancers ready? Once upon a time, in a magical kingdom far, far away, there was a snow-covered village. In this cozy little town, there lived a pair of best friends. The girl was named Gerda, and the boy was named Kai. Together, they shared an inseparable bond they were almost as close as sister and brother. Together they spent many happy afternoons reading beautiful fairy tales. In these stories, they met wonderful characters like the ballerina, and the soldier who were in love. Also, the stories of Thumbelina, the tiny girl who came from a flower. Just outside the kingdom lived an evil snow queen. Isolated in her majestic ice castle, all alone longing for company. Her heart had grown very cold. So cold, it was like ice, frozen solid. The Snow Queen reigned over the master troll. Who commanded a troop of minions. The troll and his minions created a magical mirror. This mirror made everything beautiful in the world look ugly. The Snow Queen commanded the troll to break the mirror. The shards of glass fell all over the land, spreading pain and darkness. The Snow Queen captured poor Kai in the process. must find her friend, but she will need some help. A guardian angel appeared to protect Gerda and help her on her journey through the dangerous unknown. As she began her journey, Gerda first encountered a sparkling river. Requesting help from the river, Gerda received a boat to travel on the river's peaceful currents in search of her friend. Gerda arrived on an unfamiliar forest bank where she came across two palace crows. Gerda was discouraged because the two crows kept bickering on and on, debating whether or not they should help the poor girl. Much to Gerda's relief, they finally agreed to take her to the royal palace.
There, Gerda played games with the charming princess. Princess wanted Gerda to stay and play as her playmate, but after hearing Gerda's story, the princess wanted to help. She graciously gifted Gerda with a carriage and a cloak to help her safe as she continued her journey. Unfortunately, the carriage failed to protect Gerda from the band of robbers. The little robber freed Gerda to continue on her crest for Kai. But what will Gerda do next? Where will Gerda go? Will she find her Kai? Where has the evil Snow Queen taken him? hopes you join Mountain View dancers and celebrate this holiday season with a heartwarming story of friendship and love's triumph over darkness and evil. We hope to see you all there. Happy holidays, Mountain View. Hello everyone, I'm Council Member Margaret Abe Koga. As we near the end of 2021 uh, and we reflect on this year, I know it didn't go quite the way we had all hoped for, but there's still much to be grateful for. Our health, our family and friends, and for me, the opportunity to serve you once again on the Mountain View City Council. I wish you and your family the happiest of the holiday season and a bright, 2022, hopefully with the community fully opened once again. Thank you.